Good morning everyone. Today we're going to have an IT session and we're going to discuss the fundamentals of hardware and software. Alright, let us first discuss what is a computer system. So we have here a computer system is a set of devices that input, process, output and store data. That's basically what a computer system does. So any device that accepts, process, output and store data is considered to be a computer system. So if you have your smart TV at home that accepts input, stores your data, processes your information, then we could consider that also to be a what? Computer system. You have your smartphone, your smartphone is considered to be a computer system too. So in essence, what we are saying is that it must carry these four basic or major functions. Input, process, output, and store data. So here we have a simple diagram of what we could consider to be a computer system. Input, and from input it must go to process. From process it can go to storage, or it can go straight to output. So this is basically a basic diagram of what we consider to be a computer system. So let us look at devices that accept input for a computer system. So an input device or devices accepts data. So the data that we are speaking of is raw facts. So we need devices that is going to accept data. We are talking about data from human entry or from other source. So we are looking at devices that is going to allow us to input such data. And we know that from seeing our everyday computer system, we know of our keyboard. We have our mouse. We have our microphone. We have barcode reader that we see out there in our supermarkets. We have different types of barcode reader. We have the handheld barcode reader. We have the flatbed barcode reader. So we could add that as a part of an input device. Also, we could look at another one which we are looking at now as our biometric system. So examples of the biometric system would be one, our fingerprint scanner. That is a new technology that we see on our smartphone, our laptops, where we just put our finger which identifies the individual user. So basically these systems would have been used more for security purpose. We also have another one which we call our iris scanner. We also have voice recognition. So these are some of the examples along with scanner which we could use to scan documents to be digitalized on our computer. So these are some basic input devices that is going to accept data. There are many more but we're listing a few now. From input, all of this data must go to process. Once you enter data, it must move over to some form of process. That is where we're going to change all of this data that we consider to be raw facts. So the computer system must now then take what you consider as your input and 
process that data. So we're going to look at what device allow process to take place. So we are looking at process. Processing is done by a central processing unit. In short, we we'll say it is our CPU. So the CPU has two parts to it, your control unit and your arithmetic logic unit. So the central processing unit is going to be considered to be the brain of the computer system. The brain. So the central processing unit process all data. Now, as I said earlier, on, the CPU has two components to it. It is made up of your control unit and your arithmetic logic unit. So we have to identify the roles of each component here, even though the entire thing consists of one component to be the central processing unit. So your control unit for short CU process all data. It enable communication. between your input devices and your output devices. It coordinates all activities. So it's a big role for the control unit. It is responsible to coordinate all activities within your computer system. When we look at your arithmetic logic unit, it is responsible for all logical and mathematical operations. So therefore, what we are saying is that the arithmetic logic unit performs only one task, logical and mathematical operations only. Right? So all tasks within your computer system must go through your control unit. So basically the control unit is then considered to be the boss of the computer. So the boss basically runs all the operations within the system. So all processing must take place by your central processing unit, which comprises of two components, your control unit and your arithmetic logic unit. The control unit is the boss of the computer system. It coordinates all activities and it ensures that we have communication between your input and your output devices. 
the arithmetic logic unit is responsible for any task relating to logical or mathematical operations. So that is where the processing takes place. So from processing, we can either go over to storage or we can look at output. So we're going to move over to storage.